This video is sponsored by Asus Pro Art. So, I've got a pretty cool idea. Well, a self-proclaimed cool idea that utilizes photography as more of like a tool than an art form, which is great. It's always nice to try and just be more diverse, try new things, be creative in different ways. And a lot of the time, you'll take what you learn and apply it back to your main art form anyway. I'm working with Asus Pro Art, who've teamed up with Wex and Blackmagic Design to put on a really cool competition for creatives in the UK to give them a chance to win some notable recognition and also some really awesome prizes, like a professional monitor, just like the one I use here to edit all my photos and videos. There's two categories of photography and videography, and after an initial round judged by the public, I'm on the team of judges to pick the best and help choose the final winners. The theme for the photo competition is Aura, so why don't you get out there and go and take some cool photos, or maybe have a look through your archive and see if you have anything to submit. And who knows, maybe in a couple of weeks, you could see your photo in one of these videos whilst I'm going through some of my favorite submissions. And if it's really great, you could win something really cool. So my plan is to go out and take photos, but not with a camera, just with my phone. And I'm not looking for compositions that I normally would. I'm trying to see like areas around me in a new way. I'm basically just looking for textures, whether that's a bit of tarmac, some rusted paint, some cracks in the road, just weird observations of kind of organic shapes. And then my plan is to take these, turn them into some sort of artwork and tattoo one on my body because I think that'd be cool. <laughs> Since I'm like not talented at all at drawing, I thought this would be a cool way for me to kind of use photography as a workaround to be able to make some cool designs because I can't draw, just really can't. But I know how to take photographs and I know how to use Photoshop. And if I look carefully and think well, I think I can make some cool things. And I also think this kind of process is pretty unique and hopefully it turns out cool. So let's go and take some photos. So I'm just shooting all of this on my phone. There's not really much point using something better because I'm just going to edit out all of the quality anyway. And I'm actually shooting all of this on the way to the post office. Efficiency, very good. Work smarter, not harder. So these photos do look like garbage. There is absolutely no appeal to them under the naked eye. But I've got a plan. So what I'm doing is dragging them into Photoshop and applying an adjustment layer of threshold. And what this does is splits the image into just black and white. Anything above or below a set value is transformed into either black or white. So it's pretty much just two clicks of a button and a bit of a slide and then a bit of cropping and I've got a design. And then it's just up to me to kind of curate the areas which I think would be cool. So we've got here the designs, some carbon paper, and some paper paper. And using all of this, we can make a stencil. Paper paper at the bottom, then carbon paper facing black side down. And then whatever you draw on that will be imprinted onto the paper. If you put the stencil on top, then when you draw on top of that, it pushes into the ink and makes it. So we're figuring out the placement because I'm gonna to have to shave my leg and I don't wanna shave all of it. I only want to shave the bit that it's actually going on. So figuring this out with a bit of paper. But I think we're gonna to go to like follow this like bit of muscle along the bone. Should be fun. So my microphone messed up here, but here I am setting up my little workstation. You need to clean film and clean everything to make sure it's all safe, clean, hygienic, you don't want anything to get infected. And then I'm not actually sure how much of actual tattooing I should show because 
I don't want to trigger anyone or show something I'm not meant to show, so I think I'm going to keep it PG. Uh, just try and imagine myself bent over, poking my leg with a needle. Uh, Bailey helped a bit, she had never done a tattoo before, so thought it would be fun. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. I think this tattoo came out surprisingly cool. I'm very happy with it. It's kind of exactly what I wanted to make. And I think there is this nice kind of aspect of organic kind of shapes that you find. I don't know, I just think it's a cool concept. And I also think it's, there's a nice kind of like moral of the story. And that's just being present and being more kind of like aware of what's going on. Because I never would have looked at any of these walls or other objects that had these patterns on if I didn't have this idea. It kind of gave a new lease of life of walking around the same roads I have been for ages. It just allowed me to see in a slightly different way and not take all these things around me for granted. And I think that's really helpful. I think making work and taking photos in areas where you're like super used to everything around is probably one of the hardest things. It's hard to make work about home and not that this is like photographic work necessarily. It's really refreshing to be able to look around differently and make something different. So, uh, moral of the story, look harder, make cool things and be happy. And don't forget to check out the link in the description to enter the competition with Asus. There really are some amazing prizes on offer. You definitely don't want to miss out.